You can configure your own network. You can configure your own firewall. You can take a look at the information that's coming in and out of your network. You can take a look at the firewall that's already on your computer and start to understand it. The A plus is a really great place to start to understand that. And there's virtual computers. There's virtual systems that you can do. There's something called VMware. VMware allows you to set up servers, set up different operating systems on your computer. But what I'm trying to tell you is that you need to learn to not only understand operating systems and computers and how they work, but also I would recommend that you have set up a lab and start to actually use it. So you have a working practical understanding of how it all works together because those are the best security guys. Once you have a working understanding of this, you go take the test. You fail it, take it again. You fail it, take it again. Don't give up. You only fail if you quit. Take the certification and get it. Now what you can do is you can apply for a job with no experience. Let me show you how. So what you can do is you can go to a site called, you can go to any site really. You can go to LinkedIn, you can go to Indeed, but I'm going to try, I'm going to go to Indeed.com and you can follow along with me. Indeed.com. What we're going to do is we're going to look for entry level positions that only require a high school diploma, only require a security and A plus certification, things like that. That's what we're looking for. You can find these all over the country and some of them are actually remote. You can find these jobs. There's not a lot of them, but they pop up every now and then. Now I'm on Indeed.com and all I'm typing in is entry level A plus. A, a plus certification is what you already have. Let's say you already have it. You you did six months of training and now you're, you're, you're doing that. Okay. We can do remotely or whatever state you're in. I would recommend you just type in your state or whatever or just leave it blank. And I just hit search and now I'm looking up a bunch of jobs. Now most of these entry level positions, they're not going to pay well. Like this first one that pops up is called an apprentice service engineer. It's 38000 a year. You know, a lot of people when they come in this field, they're like, oh, I want to make six figures. No, you got to start from the bottom. What you got to understand is the entry level positions all the experience that you're gaining is money every time you get more experience that's more money that's how I see it. Look, they got entry level Java developers, entry level data and analysts. And a lot of these don't require experience. They're not going to pay a lot in the beginning. You're not doing this to get paid a lot immediately. Like, you know, if you happen to find a job that pays a lot immediately, great. You know, I mean, another thing that you can do, let, I'm going to give you several options. You don't have to just take the A plus certification. There's another one that's pretty hot, which is the Google IT support professional certification. This one is from Google, from a lot of people who follow me who are said that they have it and they're actually getting jobs making 40,000 a year, making 50,000 a year, whatever. This is another great way to break into this because this entry level certification is getting a lot of traction. Here it is right here. I'm on grow.google forward slash certification if you wanna follow along or just go to Google and type in Google IT support and you'll see the certification.